Okay, so here's some of the equipment that I use when uh, installing a package. My packages, as you can see, these are all nuke boxes, five frame nukes. There's a monster one, that one has another five frames on it. And those all have uh, jars of syrup on the top. We'll go over that in a minute. And um, basically, that's what I put my packages in to get them started up and cranking. And in case you haven't seen one before, I'll go over, I make these up, I'll go over what they look like and how it's all set up. This piece of wood that I'm putting right here is just an entrance reducer. And all that's doing is while the nuke is just starting out, it uh, gives a chance for the bees to get established. There's not as many in there and um, Basically, will help the the nuke kind of protect itself from robbers or other foreign things. What this does is it'll reduce down this front entrance from this larger opening, which eventually I'll use to just simply this slot on the side. So they'll still come in and out of there; doesn't matter. And um, and it really works out pretty well. This is just a simple top board. You can see I drilled out a hole. That hole I believe is an inch and a half diameter. And what that'll do is when that is on the top of the nuke, you can see how the frames are still exposed. The bees will come up from underneath here and lick the bottom of the um, jar of syrup. Those jars are just like this. I use a quart, just a regular canning jar. The wide mouth ones are much easier and more stable on the nukes. As you can see I've got just a few holes, just tiny holes poked in there. And we'll fill this up tip it upside down and it'll create a little vacuum in there and the bees will lick at the syrup right at these holes and it'll just come through and help feed them and it really will help them getting building the wax and so forth to get the get the colony going faster so inside of here these boxes are set up where I can have five frames I'm only going to use four to start the reason being is it will give me room to put the queen cage in so they can release her. Up until the time they release her, it just it makes it tough to get five frames in here and um, and still have room to, to work. Now I am going to put in, these are just blank foundation. They haven't been drawn out yet at all, so they've got some work to do. And I did have uh, one frame left. It's uh, not the best frame, but there's some honey on it. And um, I'm going to let them have that to get started. You can see there's just a small patch of partially drawn out cells. I'll give them a little jump start. And, um, and that's pretty much it. They just they sit. There's a groove. I'll probably do a video later on on how to make these boxes, but I make these all myself and they work pretty well and uh, pretty simple but effective and so that's the nuke box now you may not be putting your bees into a nuke you may be putting them into a more traditional um, super a hive body something like this for example which you'd have your telescoping outer cover your inner cover and then 10 frames inside. Same thing, this one instead of using all 10 you're better off to leave one out and just use nine. Same process as installing in the nuke but you're just going to be in a bigger box. And that's all, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it's just whatever you have to work with. Um, that's pretty much it. Now some of the equipment that you're, I find is handy may not necessarily be 
absolutely necessary, but is um, the uh, standard hive tool. We'll use that to uh, go in like down here and to pry off this outer wood cover. Uh, that's pretty much all we really need it for for this job, but it's definitely a handy handy tool to have around when you're working with your bees. A coarse sheetrock screw. Doesn't really matter the size, but we're going to use this to remove the cork that is protecting the candy on the queen cell and the cage. And that's going to allow these bees to release her into the hive so she can get working. Also I use a piece of, uh, of uh, a pair of uh, dikes and these are really handy to grab the syrup jar. It's kind of, I mean you can do it a bunch of different ways but this makes it a little bit easier and um, it's just uh, one of the things I do, I don't know if it's a trick if you want to call it that, but it's uh, it's just a handier way of, of uh, grabbing the syrup jar. Speaking of the syrup, the mason jar like I said with the holes in it, we're going to put that on top and I have my smoker. Got a little bit of smoke in there and the uh, bees that we're going to be handling have been in my barn. They're uh, extremely calm. And it's cool out so they're not even agitated at all and this is uh... there you go. There's three pounds of bees. You can notice there's definitely some dead ones on the bottom. Don't be alarmed. It happens. It's not a big deal. Uh, if you ever receive a package of bees and there was, we'll say, a, a pretty good layer, you know, of them dead, imagine you know, there's there's quite a lot of bees there, but if you had a pretty thick sheet of them, well, then that might be, you know, reason to be concerned and to, uh, you know, contact the post office and put in a claim for damage. But like this, perfect. There's a ton of bees there. I'll be happy to go in their new home. And uh, we'll get set up and uh, show you how to do it. It's pretty basic. First thing I'm going to do is um, take my nuke box and I'm going to take out um, yeah I'm going to take out two of the four frames so it leaves me a nice big channel to work with in the middle and that's where we're going to shake the bees right into there and you are literally going to shake and pour and slam the bees in there um, you don't just ask them to go from here to here nicely they just you can be quite aggressive with them and don't really have to worry at all a lot of people get freaked out but it's not a big deal at all and they're they'll just kind of pour right in there and you'll have some flying around but it's not that's not like uh not like what you might be expecting put it that way so the first thing i'll do is just give them just a little bit of smoke nothing really truly don't even need it but I'll just uh, for sake of argument give them a few puffs of smoke make them happy calm them down next thing we have to do is just uh, we're gonna pop off this wooden lid I'm gonna set the camera up so that I can use both hands and uh, talk and work at the same time and hopefully you guys get a good picture of what's happening and we'll be good to go.